It's supposed to be a time of celebrations for the Eid holiday, marking the end of the holy month of Ramadan. But it's been marred by more bloodshed and violence. In the latest round of attacks, Saturday saw a wave of bombings, apparently coordinated to hit market areas, cafes and restaurants at their busiest, places where Iraqis had gathered for the Eid holiday. More than 60 people have been killed, and there's reports that nearly 300 people have been injured. The attacks happened mainly in the capital, Baghdad, but also two towns in the north, Tuzkamato and Kirkuk, and in the south, Nasiriya. The tensions this year were fueled in April when Iraqi security forces broke up an anti-government Sunni protest in the city of Hawija, killing and wounding dozens of protesters. The violence has been escalating. The UN says a thousand people were killed in July. Then last month, hundreds of inmates escaped after gunmen stormed two jails near Baghdad. An Iraqi affiliate of Al-Qaeda has claimed responsibility for that. Most of the violence in the past months happened in Shia areas. There's a lot of anger towards the Shia-led government. Sunnis feel they're being marginalized. Plus, the coalition government is accused of failing to provide basic services, such as electricity and clean water, in addition, the government has failed to pass any major legislations this year due to ongoing divisions. Last week, the Prime Minister Nouri al-Maliki vowed to continue operations against militants. And in the run-up to Eid, more security checkpoints had been set up. However, it's done little good this weekend. This is one of the deadliest Ramadans Iraq has seen in years. If the government fails to stem the spiralling violence, there's worries the country could see a return of the all-out Sunni-Shiite sectarian conflict. Katerina Mo, BBC News.